scouting and setting up whatever. Yesterday I was out at daybreak and the birds come down this fence line. So I'm kind of, this is a really hinky deal here. Quick setup. But I'm going to try to ambush them as they come off and hopefully, hopefully a nicer bird is in front. It's going to be really cool. They should come by fairly close, but we'll see. I got GoPros set up along the way, so hopefully I should capture them as they're, they're coming. But uh, it's just about sunrise and it shouldn't be too long. They should start moving, but hopefully they do what they did yesterday. If they don't, I guess it's regroup and try it again. But, so this is like in your face turkey hunting if this works out like I think it should. But we all know how hunting goes. Anyway, hopefully the next time you see me, I'll be holding a turkey. Turkey hunting, my new fascination. This wary bird with keen eyesight is well worth your attention if you've never hunted them before. In Minnesota, we're lucky enough to have two seasons, a spring season and a fall season. As tasty and as challenging as they are to hunt, they have quickly climbed to the top of my list. Now, as it would appear here, it looks like I'm going to reel them in, whack them, stack them, pack them in. But we all know that's not how it goes in the hunting world. Now with the way things are going, I'm waiting for a panther or something to jump out of this ditch line and take these birds away from me. It just can't be this easy. One of these jakes is a little bit bigger than the other, and it's the one that I'm wanting to take. It's the one that I'm wanting to send to the smoker. Now the morning before, about 14 turkeys came down this fence line. And they didn't mess around like these two are doing. They came straight down the fence line. So I'm wondering, do these turkeys see me? Because they seem to know that something isn't right. The only cover that I have in this fence line is just a little bit wider than my body and just a little bit taller than my head when I'm crouched down. As I sit here and I wait patiently, these turkeys come closer and then they move away. And they come closer and they move away. I'm starting to wonder, is day three gonna be another strikeout? Something has got these birds' attention. And they're clucking, and they're moving a little bit faster, and they're coming right at me. And just as things were looking up, things are starting to look bad, really bad. The Jake that I picked out has now crossed the fence line and is coming down at me on the exact wrong side. I have the camera on the right side, and the Jake that I'm looking to take is on the left and it looks like the smaller Jake is gonna follow him. There's not really any way that I can move the camera over without being seen and blowing this whole hunt. I can't figure out what's got these birds all excited. I have no idea that a group of about 25 birds is coming dead at me from my left hand side and have not been watching. But for some reason, the smaller Jake continues to walk down the fence line on the camera side. I can barely breathe, let alone move. So I begin to prepare to send this turkey to the smoker.
Luckily, this bird doesn't get very far from the fence line, or he would have spotted me. And now that I've seen the group of other turkeys, I know I'm going to have to make my move real soon. This bird is about 20 yards in closing, but I want to get him just a little bit closer. He's clucking and clucking and he's watching. Now hunting is one challenge, but self-filming your own hunt is another challenge. You have to keep the camera centered on your prey. I set my bead, and when this bird crosses it, he's going to turkey heaven. Now you can see how close this other Jake was. And he's got to go check out, because something's just not right. As the crowd looks on, I'm thinking to myself, Man, I love it when a plan comes together. guys we got the bird back to the truck here uh, gonna get him cleaned up and uh, get him in the brine but that hunt worked out pretty good uh, I was expecting more birds to come out down that fence line but I may have spooked them off the roost this morning I don't know but these two came out and this one came out in particular and that's all that matters so it uh, worked out pretty good for me this is my second turkey this is my second turkey hunt I hunted this spring and I am hooked on turkey hunting it is it is a thrill uh, having those birds get that close to you. The whole ambush uh, part of it was was uh, awesome also. I didn't want to use a call, didn't want to use a decoy. You know, I just wanted to, to chance it, I guess, and, and see if uh, what I had learned paid off, and it did. So if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. It's growing, we want to keep it going. We have a lot of stuff going on on After Five Outdoors. Got a couple more turkey hunts, hopefully, this weekend. Scott's coming up with his bow. Hopefully that works out. We've got a lot more goose hunting, duck hunting coming up. Just all that fall stuff, grouse hunting. So if you like what you see, please subscribe. And I hope that you're able to get out in God's great outdoors soon. And we'll see you on the next one.